guys, Paul here from PA Brew News with some really, really backlogged weeks for the 7 for 52 challenge. I'm still doing it. I'm updating you guys now. And uh, it's went through some bumps. We've had a bumpy road lately. Um, so I'm actually going to go through that right now and get you guys updated. Um, pontificate on little things. <clears throat> I'm not going to try to make this too long. So... The last update, which I thought was 15, it turns out to be 14. So we're on week 15, and we're going to go up to week 19. Yeah, that's how long it's been since I gave you a fucking update. Didn't seem like that long, but I was um, since week probably like 11. It seems like it's getting harder and harder and harder to get time which sounds stupid, get time to remember to sit down and make these videos. So I'm going to crack that and not get on it every week to week. And that's why we have such a uh, a backlog of weeks. So anyway, because I know the week 13, 14 video was already two or three weeks you know, behind schedule already. So that's up, and that's been up for almost three weeks now. Well, there you go. So... Anywho, <clears throat> let's get all caught up, okay? So everyone knows. That's enough talking. So the beginning of, uh, I left off, we, I left you guys off at two, uh, 237.6, which is cool. Seven in the bag. Started week 15 at 236.6. What's with all the point sixes? It's weird. Um, seven in the bag. And rounding it up to 105. Not rounding it up or knocking it up to 105 beers overall. Um, okay. <clears throat> Week 16 was 235.2. So, again, I, I lost uh, another pound and, and, you know, four ounces, which is cool. Uh, seven in the bag, rolling it up to 112. Okay, here it uh, here comes the fun stuff. Here comes the whoopsie poopsies. Uh, starting week 17 out at 233, which is super cool. Uh, nice little bit of weight loss right there. <clears throat> and uh, <coughs> excuse me, that was week that that week happened to be the Fourth of July weekend. However, and I had seven or eleven. I had four over. I had eleven fucking beers that week. Whoops, that's not good. Don't. Mm, yep. So it, it it has been written down. It has been tallied. One hundred and twenty three beers overall. At this point in time, or that point in time. So, good news. I did beat the shit out of myself that week, which is good, because I could see it in the weight loss. 231.6. Well, there's that point six again. Officially, 30 pounds of weight loss starting on week 18. Week 18 was the week I went to Canada. And as I said, I wasn't going to drink before I went to Canada. I also said I wasn't going to drink after I came home from Canada. We'll get into that for a second. But... I didn't know how many beers I had when I was in Canada. Before I went, I wrote down Canada, scribbled it, and I put down immediate. Um, got a alarm here going off. I have. I put down ten beers immediately. I already because I'm going to Canada. I'm gonna. I'm not saying I'm gonna drink ten beers. I'm just saying I automatically deducted ten beers. Like you have. There's your uh, warning, bud. Ten beers. There's your uh, penalty. So I put my a 10 beer penalty off. I drank a bunch of beers when I was up there. Four or five here. Sample, sample, sample. Maybe one, two, three. I really didn't. I drank enough to be happy, but I certainly didn't get drunk. Um, not like other times I've been in Canada. So, <laughs> but Canada was absolutely amazing. Went to the the brew tubers. Um, 2024 meetup in Niagara Falls hosted by Shane and Ray, Shane's Craft Beer, and of course the Alconauts, one half of the Alconauts, or the other one being Paul. So got a chance to meet Paul also and his wife. They're having 25th year anniversary, so cheers to them. Paul and Roe, nice. Went up there on a Friday, I had to leave uh, Sunday morning. 
afternoon, whatever. So I was not there very long. Um, lots of great people. The Airbnb was sketchy as shit on the outside, which is funny because I'm like, I got the wrong place, you know. But inside it was cool. It had a pool table. It had a pool table. It had cornhole. It had a uh, uh, basketball, which we were running and jumping and throwing basketball, which maybe that's why I didn't gain as much weight as I thought I would have. But uh, ate half a pizza box full of poutine. There we met the, you know, some really cool people. I was really excited to see Chris from off the tent. That was I was like ah, and then I did. That was great. So really happy to see Chris from off the tent over at Taps. Picked him up, walked him around like you do, normal to do stuff. And then also. When I got there on Friday, I got a chance to see some people in person for the first time, which was really cool. As soon as I got in there, I could see Todd. I was like, oh, it's Todd. There you go. And I, Shannon was soon after. Todd and Shannon. Then I saw uh, uh, Anderson from... Uh, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> I saw uh, Ginger Yeti Road beers, which was cool. And uh, I don't know if I saw TK right then, but TK was there, Beer Day, which was awesome. Then uh, Dave and Brian, uh, I both both uh, got a chance to see uh, Dave's TV, and uh, Brian the Beer Snob was there. I I saw Rod, but he was busy doing something in the background there. And then when I was loading my beers in the fridge, I hear like you you motherfucker or something like yeah, and I you know, hey so Rod J, really cool to see Rod J finally in in the persons, um, it was just a, a a cool time. Alan was there for one flight down, gave me an awesome shirt. Also, um, the hard poor pub shirt is really cool too. So thank you very much. I have um, a shirt coming down uh, from the from the. Uh, get together it was supposed to be signed and blah, blah blah but they're rectifying that was really awesome I absolutely I feel like I'm missing I know I'm missing somebody you know when your brain just doesn't work well it is the morning and I just got out of the shower and I was just like coffee 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 so mm. oh and Mallory of course uh, from um, Imperfectly Me Craft showed up as well so that was really cool and oh and Chase of course Nutmeg to Palmetto I was talking with Chase just recently I was like you can't forget Chase no of course not that'd be stupid but there was a lot of people there and it was really really cool um a lot of the people like first timers. Uh, for me, I was a first timer there. Got to meet some people that were new brew tubers that really I haven't really interacted with too, too much and stuff. And of course, there's some OG stuff. And uh, <clears throat> it was just awesome. So, anyway, this is getting too long. So, let's get back into it. So, Canada was an absolute success. I was officially under 30 pounds and I celebrated with meeting some great people and gaining weight. There you go. So I'm starting week 19, and this is the final week. Uh, I, sorry for the long update video. Uh, right now we're on the final week of week 19. Week 20 has already started, but you'll get that next week. So week 19, I came home as an American, proud as can be, back to America. I uh, was very happy to see the Pennsylvania pursue happiness. It just makes me see, it makes me happy every time I see that sign when I came back into Pennsylvania. So, I brought home <clears throat> some beer, thanks to uh, TK and, and uh, Ginger Yeti. And I proceeded on Monday to review them because my fucking power was out. And I'm like, oh, it was just a little storm, it'll come back on. I'm sitting on the porch, and it's hot as fuck, you know. And it just got so humid and hot in the house, I didn't want to sit in there. Review... Wait, 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 wait. Review. Wait, 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 wait. Review. Oh my, so, well, that power didn't come back on until like 1 in the morning. That was fucking bullshit. So, I had, uh, I reviewed those beers then. And then I had uh, two more, <coughs> excuse me, two more that following day. And then I was very happy to get on to 
I haven't been on in one in a while, so I got a BA-101, and I pulled an old uh, Saison out of my fridge that was there, because the, 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 the other half of that bottle, or the other, the pair to that bottle, blew up on me years ago, and I haven't drank it since, so I just kept it in there, in that fridge. So I, I left it in there for many, many years, and pulled it out, and popped it open, and it didn't explode, and it was fucking amazing. So I had that, and I had a few more beers while I was uh, chatting with them, chit-chatting with them for a little bit. That put me to 11 beers that week. That was more than Canada. What the fuck? So <clears throat> total tally from those last four uh, weeks put into my tally is 144 beers. So <clears throat> 144 beers on the scale today out of the uh, 364 I did some calculations and I'm 11 beers over where I'm supposed to be I'm only on week 20 there's still 320 uh, 320 weeks left um, I did a quick calculation and if I only do six beers a week for the next um, whatever I'll still be I'll still be way under from you know where I need to be, so uh, it's moderation time. It's weight loss time. Uh, weight loss is back on track. Uh, really happy to say that, and I'm really amazed to see it, uh, to be honest. But I'm just gonna give you a little heads up and let you know that that 235 is already rectified. So I'm pretty positive. I'm pretty happy about the whole goddamn thing. So, yep, yeah, and. Uh, I will not be messing up the updates like this again. I won't take that long. I might do a double week now and again, but I'm not going to. I mean, it was damn near a month. <laughs> I fucking just updated you. I no wonder it's so long. Anyway, this has been Paul from Beer Brew News. Cheers. Bye-bye. Hmm. Watch your finger. Here it comes.